taking off the cowl today. Before I do that, I gotta take the windshield wipers off. Uh, it's actually a lot easier than what I thought it was gonna be. Um, I'm using this blaster light lithium grease. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to use. And then this little tool right here. All right, so I sprayed the blaster as best I could. Try to get it inside the this piece right here, but uh, it doesn't have one of those hose nozzles on it, so it probably didn't do anything. Um, I don't have a plastic one of these, otherwise I would use it, um, or one with like a 90 degree angle or a bigger angle than this. This is pretty much what I got. And so what I'm doing is laying this down here so I try not to damage the cowl paint or more importantly the metal and I just get some leverage and I'm basically just gonna push on one side at a time and just sort of jiggle it up so left right there it popped up a little bit up should be just about there. A little bit more. Maybe try this side. Or maybe not. It would definitely help if I had a better angle. Hopefully I didn't break anything. There it goes. And yeah, that looks good. I don't know if this is really necessary or how easy it is to put it back on yet, but I just went ahead and labeled each one, uh, each wiper blade, so that I know exactly which one it came off. This is what the screws look like. Just kind of like that with the washers sort of attached to them or uh, rusted onto them, whichever. These screws actually weren't that bad. Uh, there's a ton more screws and bolts on here that were just absolutely dreadful uh, that I've had to either drill out or cut out these ones came right out so I was pretty happy about that there's two more screws that uh, go to each of the washer fluid uh, mechanisms or tubes um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those out and then as soon as I take the cowl off which is going to be right about now um, I'm going to put them put the screws back in there uh, so I don't lose those. Um, otherwise, I, I just don't want to have this thing hanging loose like that, and there's really no reason for me to put these screws away. All these screws, by the way, were uh, one fourth. See how these things are attached they just slip right out just like that okay here it is um, off the Camaro finally and probably the first time it's been off since the Camaro was repainted in the late 80s or early 90s. So overall, this thing is 100% salvageable. I already pretty much knew that. I um, guess I can take this off. This doesn't look too bad. Peels right off. Yeah, I mean, this thing's probably still salvageable too. Um, yeah, it just needs to be cleaned. 
That's it. This thing is good. Good to go. Some of that blaster from earlier. Um, I am not seeing any issues with this cowl whatsoever, so that is excellent news. I mean, there is not a nick or a, I don't know what that is. Is it supposed to be there? Yeah, I think so. It's on both sides. Okay. A little bit of flaking right there, but I mean, I, a little flaking right there. Cool. All right, let's go see what underneath looks like. So I'm pushing record on this um, at the exact same time that I am looking at it for the first time. And I think it looks okay. I think it's just dirty. I don't really see much in the form of rust. Let me check the other side. Yeah, I mean, aside from what might possibly be underneath the trim there, so far, not too bad. What is that? That doesn't look good. Uh, I guess to the wow. That's going to do it for today. I'm not going to take the trim off of the windshield because uh, I'm not going to take the windshield off um, for no reason other than I just have nowhere to put a window right now in my garage. Um, springtime comes and I get to do some spring cleaning and things like that, uh, it'll be a different story. Um, other than that, thanks for watching.